On March 27, 2022, South China Sea Strategic Situation Probing Initiative SCSBI, released an incomplete report on U.S. military activities in the South China Sea in 2021. In 2021, the U.S. placed great emphasis on military deterrence against China, and maintained highly intensified military activities in the South China Sea, such as close in reconnaissance, forward presence, freedom of navigation operations, UNOPS, military exercises and drills, and battlefield preparation. The U.S. military deployed for CSGS, two ARCs, 11 SSNs, and conducted 22 bombers. These strategic platforms frequent entries and exits of the South China Sea. Around 1,200 sorties of large reconnaissance aircraft conducted close in reconnaissance. The U.S. Ocean Surveillance Ships and Maritime Survey Vessels conducted frequent operations in the waters for a total of 419 ship days at sea. According to open source data, the U.S. military carried out a total of 95 large-scale exercises and drills, including 14 unilateral exercises and 81 bilateral and multilateral ones. In 2021, the U.S. warships and aircraft's frequent transits through the Taiwan Strait released dangerous signals to separatists in Taiwan and extremely threatened the peace and stability of the Taiwan Strait. U.S. Coast Guard and U.S. reconnaissance aircraft joined Taiwan Strait transit operations for the first time. The U.S. military made first joint transit of the Taiwan Strait along with other countries, Canada, warship. The U.S. warships crossed the Taiwan Strait for 12 times, more specifically, 5 times north to south and 7 times south to north. The Taiwan Strait is naturally connected with the South China Sea and their situations are closely interconnected. U.S. Navy's freedom of navigation operation in the South China Sea stimulated the Taiwan Strait situation. U.S. warships intruded into China's stationed islands and reefs for five times. Their operating area are Paracel Islands, Spratly Islands and Mischief Reef, Spratly Islands. 2021, the U.S. strategic vision is shifting from strategic competition to integrated deterrence, with a combat concept focused on operational and actual combats with concepts of operations, GNOPs, and seeking to create a new generational gap with China in military equipment and technology. The core of America's defense strategy is integrated deterrence, a term that includes having the best weapons systems the latest technologies, and new knops that make adversaries think twice. Military against China in the Indo-Pacific region, including, first, denying China sustained air and sea dominance inside the first island chain in a conflict. Second, defending the first island chain nations, including Taiwan region of China. Third, maintaining all domain advantage outside the first island chain. In 2021, the U.S. made greater efforts to pull extra-regional countries to involve militarily in the South China Sea, as China-U.S. competition intensifies in terms of diplomatic instruments. The U.S. directed agenda setting under multilateral mechanisms as the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue Quad, and Group of Seven G7, to continuously hyper the South China Sea issue and exert diplomatic pressure to China. In terms of military means, the U.S. conducted joint military exercises to increase air and sea interoperability with its allies. U.S. enhanced the effect of its allies in new CNOPs. In addition to vigorously strengthening the U.S.-Japan alliance, the U.S. has also focused on enhancing the role of other allies, such as deploying attack nuclear submarines and strategic bombers in Australia and reintroducing Subic Bay as a key forward base for power projection into the South China Sea. 
The U.S. often always emphasizes that the United States will fly, sail and operate wherever international law allows. However, just as the saying of Professor Hupo, director of SCSPI, in peacetime, the conduct of highly intensified military activities in another coastal state's surrounding waters, such as thousands of close and reconnaissance operations and hundreds of military exercises, is a clear violation of the spirit maintaining international peace and security of the UN Charter and the peaceful uses of the seas of the United Nations Convention of the Law of the Sea.